Do you remember when I arrived here with the Porsche Taycan? I already told in some of the videos I was speaking about they could just expand the station any day and look what happened. They doubled the station. Oh yes. And there's even room for more. Hello and welcome to the Aimness Supercharger next to restaurant de Witte Berge. This as you can see is a very fresh V3 situation. It's also easy to see that future expansion is so so simple. Anyway uh, what I really want to stress is that you can see that they made these stalls differently compared to the V2 that I just visited and I think when this was built they already knew what they were doing and it was already ready for open use because otherwise they wouldn't have built it like this that doesn't make any sense if you just build for Teslas so this was a plan from way earlier it's not new it wasn't invented last week and it's not a sudden weird decision this is all pre-planned I'm back at the Tesla station but what happened it doubled in size so this all used to be nothing it ended over there and they just put down all these extra stalls they installed these extra units and I can only guess to how many megawatts are offered here but it has become a huge station definitely ready for any non-Tesla to come and charge wow so to show you the Tesla app Twenty-one of twenty-four stalls available. Let's get some membership because this won't be my twelve ninety-nine per month. So I signed up for a membership, one click, and now I will choose stall four B and see what happens. very light plug hard to compare with any of the other brands it's so lightweight there was the lock of the car In France there have been reports that the Yonex 5 didn't like V3 installations. Well this is as new as they come. So I'm very curious. Aha! Uh -huh. I just got a message from the Hyundai app that charging has stopped. And there's a red light. Please unplug and try again. Charging failed. So second try. 4B. Start charging. Okay. Plugging in again. It's not a perfect fit. You can see that it was made for a different model but the car locks fine let's see what the Tesla app shows let's see what we what the dashboard says no we ran into an issue red light so v3 installation this is Aimness in the netherlands close to amersfoort 
can't charge the Hyundai. Obviously I'll try another stall, but I don't think it will make a difference. Beautiful and sunny, the Enyaq just arrived and they wanted to use a 50 kilowatt charger, but I told them to take the faster one, even though it could be faster to, cheaper to go to Tesla. So here we are at stall 2B. Let's try and start the charge. This time I'm not blocking anybody except for a bit of entrance point to the Allego charger, but it wasn't a problem for the Enyaq. Charging failed. So there's one more thing I want to try, and that is to plug in first, then press start. There was the lock. Just to check if it makes any difference, the Tesla app asks you to connect after you start session so i'm not doing what they ask but since we already know that it fails when i do what they ask let's try when i do what they don't ask <laughs> so this is actually the way to get it to work but it only took a second to shut off so this just is a total uh yeah i don't know what to say this is very strange because now it charged for one second and then it stopped anyway. So will they charge me for this session of uh, two seconds? I don't know, but for now it seems like the Yonic 5, at least in France, I've heard that it's even a problem that's only related to the Project 45 edition. And this is the Project 45 edition. So let me promise you that I will ask for another version one day from Hyundai and see if that helps but I'll also try to visit the V2 I don't know if I have time today though